Welcome to Eco Innovatech. Have you heard about carbon capture and storage or CCS? This groundbreaking technology might be a game changer in the fight against climate change. Today we're breaking it down to show you exactly how it works. Carbon capture and storage involves capturing carbon dioxide emissions from sources like power plants and factories, transporting it and storing it deep underground to prevent it from entering the atmosphere. But how does this process actually work? Step 1. Capturing carbon. This is the first crucial step in the process of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and combating climate change. By capturing carbon dioxide, CO2, from industrial sources, we can significantly reduce the amount of CO2 released into the atmosphere. There are several technologies used to capture CO2. These technologies are designed to trap CO2 at its source, preventing it from entering the atmosphere. Each method has its own advantages and is suited to different types of industrial processes. Some methods capture the carbon before combustion, which works best for new facilities. Pre-combustion capture involves converting fossil fuels into a mixture of hydrogen and CO2 before burning. This method is highly efficient and can be integrated into new power plants. Others use post-combustion capture, removing CO2 after burning fossil fuels. This method is particularly useful for retrofitting existing power plants. It involves capturing CO2 from the flue gases produced after combustion, making it a versatile option. This is commonly used in existing power plants, but presents some technical challenges. The process requires significant energy and advanced technology to efficiently capture and store CO2. Despite these challenges, post-combustion capture remains a vital tool in our efforts to reduce carbon emissions. Step 2. Transporting carbon. Once captured, the CO2 must be transported, usually via pipelines, to its final storage destination. Careful monitoring ensures safety and efficiency. Step 3. Storing carbon. This is a crucial part of our efforts to combat climate change and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Where does all this captured carbon go? Once captured, the carbon dioxide is transported to storage sites using pipelines or ships. Scientists store it in deep underground geological formations, such as depleted oil and gas reservoirs or saline aquifers. These formations are chosen because they have the capacity to securely hold the carbon dioxide for thousands of years. These sites are carefully selected and monitored to ensure long-term safety. Continuous monitoring and advanced technology are used to track the stored carbon and prevent any leaks, ensuring that the carbon remains securely stored and does not re-enter the atmosphere. The potential and challenges of carbon capture technology are vast and multifaceted. While carbon capture is promising, it comes with significant hurdles that need to be addressed. The technology aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by capturing carbon dioxide from industrial sources and storing it underground. However, the technology is costly, energy intensive and still evolving. The high costs associated with carbon capture and storage CCCS, can be a major barrier to its widespread adoption. Plus, there are concerns about potential environmental risks, such as the possibility of leaks from storage sites, which could have serious consequences for local ecosystems. Some argue it's a necessary tool in the fight against climate change, providing a way to mitigate emissions from industries that are hard to decarbonize, while others believe efforts should focus on renewable energy solutions instead, such as wind and solar power, which offer cleaner and more sustainable alternatives. The debate continues as we seek the best path forward for our planet. What do you think? Do you believe carbon capture and storage can help save the planet? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more sustainability insights from Eco Innovatech.